Now the uh, approval of the minutes from the last meeting. Did everybody get a chance to read them? And do we have a motion to accept them as is? Motion to accept the minutes. Uh, I'll second. second that. Okay. Everyone, aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion carries. Now consideration of public comments. Those wishing to address the Municipal Utilities Commission need to request permission in advance. Did we get anybody requesting to address us at all? No. Okay, so there's no issue there. Uh, new business, review and recommendation of a request for water service to unsubdivided, uh, excuse me, unsubdivided, unsubdivided parcel 320-03-194, ENG 20-0032, which is NAZ Key Properties LLC of Surprise, Arizona has submitted the request for water service to the unsubdivided, unsubdivided parcel at 1737 Airway. Uh, they intend to build a culvert restaurant. So, does anybody have any questions or? I think Greg's gonna present something. Yeah. I can throw up the, um, let me throw up the, uh, the map here showing the, um, here's kind of the map showing the, the area of the property. It's, it's located, um, off north, north side of Airway, immediately east of the Cracker Barrel restaurant uh, between Stockton Hill Road and North Glen Road. Um, it's uh, unsubdivided property. It's currently about 4.2 acres in size. Um, as has been indicated, they intend to build a, a Culver's restaurant. Um, their plan called for a future restaurant or some other building um, on the east half of the parcel with the culvers going more on the west half of the parcel. There is a, um, a site plan in your packet. Um, the, the only thing, th this is fairly routine. Um, the only thing that's not routine is there's, there, there currently does not exist a water line in Glen Road. There is a water line in Airway Avenue, which, which crosses the frontage of the property. Uh, but there is there is not in Glen Road, and the, and our regulations, the city regulations, uh, we typically require that that extension be made at the time of development, uh, um, and so that would be our recommendation from staff. Would it would be that the water service be approved with the with the condition that the extension in Glen Road be made in accordance with uh, Section 7.2 of the of the utility regulations. Um, so that essentially is a, is a summary of it, uh, and I'm happy to ans answer any questions that there, there might be. Uh, Greg, just Pat, um, so <clears throat> I've noticed they're already doing dirt work out there and cutting the pad, so I'm assuming there's some kind of permit issued on this, and so is their request to not have to do that extension at this time, I understand that correctly? Uh, so th there is a permit that's been um, there. There is a permit that's been issued for the building, uh, and they've been advised um, that this condition could be made. And they haven't made a they haven't made a, um, a request to to waive it, or they haven't given me a position on whether they would like to have have it to be waived, or whether they intend to put it in with with the project. But they have been advised that. Um, uh, we were bringing this to the commission with the recommendation that that extension be made as, as required by the regulations. Um, but again, I haven't heard, I have not heard their position one way or the other on it. Okay, thank you. Hey, Greg, this is Mike. How, how are they planning on getting the water line across there? So they're actually planning, their, their building is going to go and I can maybe move down to the, their site plan here. Um, their building is gonna go more on the uh, west side of the property. And then they've got this remainder that's undeveloped, um, which they had shown at one time, uh, I believe as a, as a future restaurant pad of some sort. 
So for, for what, what they're pro contemplating for the culvers is they, they intend to come into the Airway Avenue water line and uh, make the connection there for their project. So you're okay with that? Well, um, I mean, we it's going to involve cutting Airway Avenue and likely reducing traffic. It's, it's not ideal, but um, we're okay with it. They'll have to do likely do night work to, to do that, to get that done, but. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're generally okay with them, with them doing that. So if they were to develop these pads on the east side, um, where would that water need to come from that future extension or would that also be available to airway? Well, at that point, I think we would, we would certainly recommend that they come off the Glen Road water line at that point. If the, if the remaining property develops, we would, we would make that recommendation that they come off the, uh, they make the extension in Glen Road and come off that line. I mean, they can make the extension now and still, we would still be okay with, with the airway connection just because it, it suits them. It's, it's closer to their building. If they ever want to split the other property off, um, which was talked about, they did talk about creating a plat, which would split, split the property in two. So the Culver's would not, they would have to reserve an easement of some sort at that point to have their water come off Glen Road. So. Gotcha. So if they were to sell those properties, then the new owners would be required to come off of Glen Road. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, I mean, I, I, based on the way our regulations read, the, the extensions required now, I, they might have an argument for um, um, making it in the future for the for the when the remaining property develops. They've not made that argument. Um, you know, however, that's that's something they could. Uh, this this will have to go to the city council for final approval, so they could make that that argument to the council. They've not made that argument at this point, though. Thank you. Mike, have, this is Shane. Having them input that water line right now could open up potential for the other lots that are undeveloped right now to be developed quicker, couldn't it? Because then they'd have access to a water line. The ones behind it, like that would be probably to the north of this lot and all that for future development, that whole area. Yeah, those areas. Yeah, so yeah, if, yeah, if, I'm sorry, if you're asking, if you're asking me, yes, that, so yeah, that would, um, it would make it available to, and, and, and if these areas develop, they would still have to extend it across their frontage. Right. But it would um, certainly make it that much closer available to them, yes. And the other question I have is the Glen Road extension, they don't have to break up airway or right now to do it, to tie into it, right? It's already cut off enough to where it just- That is correct. I'll zoom in here and yeah, so yeah. when everybody was paved, there was a, there was a, a step up for, for water made into the Glen Road right, right away. So they would not have to cut airway for that. Okay. Extension. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Does anyone have any other questions? No? Okay, do I have a motion to have them, uh, that this will be acceptable by us for the, to go to city council that they have to input the water line? I would make a motion to uh, accept staff's recommendations on uh, the extension for Glenn. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, all the ayes? Aye. Aye. Hey. Any nays? Okay, the motion carries. Now, any announcements by commission members? No, okay. All right, I guess we adjourn.
to the next one. Hopefully it's live instead of the Christmas. I'll I'll make I'll make a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Second, Mike. All the eyes. Aye. Aye. Any nays? Nope. All right. Everyone be safe and enjoy.